My name is Paul from h, &H Classics and we're here today for our viewing day at the Imperial War Museum Duxford in Cambridgeshire for our second auction here of the 2022 calendar year. Now we've got just shy of 140 cars on offer tomorrow and there's a great cross section, hopefully something for everyone from a 1906 Brazier all the way through to a 2015 Jaguar F-Type. I'm going to pick out a few of my highlights, some of the interesting cars personally to me um, and hopefully we'll see some of you here tomorrow. Now some of you may recognise this as the cover car on our catalogue, so this is a Ferrari 365 GT which has been rebodied in the style of the pontoon Fender Testarossa, an iconic Ferrari of its day. This example, like I say, is originally a 365 GT, the styling is exquisite and uh, the consigner of this was driving it for the video and says it drives superbly. The video is available for you to look at online as well if you wanted to have a look at this car specifically. Now, pontoon for Fender Testarossas trading for in the region of sort of 30 to 50 million. This example is guided competitively at 350 to 400. Lots of interest on the website, unsurprisingly, uh, and something that we hope will sell well tomorrow. Okay, so the next highlight for me is this, which some of you may recognise as the Roger Byford all-conquering Healy 3000 Mark II. Now, a car that's been incredibly successful through its life, both in terms of rallying and on the track, including the RAC Rally and the International Healy Race Series. So, something that's competitively been used by Mr Byford and something which we're actually really excited to offer. Um, we've managed to catch a quiet time around it but it has had a lot of interest today on the viewing day um, and we've tracked the activity online and it is one of the the more interested lots of the sale for tomorrow as well a bit of a rarity that is quite exciting to me is the bitter so not to everyone's taste i can appreciate but it's been subject to approximately hundred thousand pound resto mod improvement scheme so Change of engine, obviously the sort of improvements or depending on how you see it, changes in styling, upgrades all around. It's, it's quite an interesting car and something which you're not going to see another one. Unlikely you'll see another one in this condition as well. So a rare thing and an interest in resto mod upgrades. The Maserati Bora is another one. As you can tell from how many I'm picking out with just walking a few yards, there's, there's a real good selection of cars here. So the Bora is an original right and drive car, formerly part of the Maserati, Maserati Heritage Collection. Uh, and obviously this year is the launch of, of another iconic Maserati that's gonna be happening. So an interesting prospect, especially with the history surrounding Maserati that's going on at the moment. The 300 SE Cabriolet, that is another sub 100 car uh, UK supplied uh, example with an extensive restoration, uh, 300 SE as well, not one of the, the sort of smaller engine variants, it's, it's a rare car uh, and one which presents excellently in the hall and, and has had a lot of interest I have to say. Now lot one is something which I feel definitely needs pointing out because Everyone knows of the atrocities going on in Ukraine. Um, and one of our regular customers uh, has been kind enough and inspired enough by the fight of the Ukrainian people that he has decided to donate his XJC to the cause. Um, and not only that, we here at H&H &H will more than happily donate the 12.5% buyer's premium so a hundred percent of the sale proceeds will be going to the Ukraine humanitarian appeal. Converted to manual uh, it was originally an automatic example but what a striking colour combination the black with the red interior works really well in my opinion and it's something we took to uh, a local event something we do every year got an incredible amount of interest and again in the hall we've We've caught a quick break in the traffic here because it has had an exceptional amount of people looking around it. 
If you're looking for something to restore, then we have a, a real good variety and a real mix of cars which might take your fancy. From the 190SL, a left-hand drive example, that one's been in long-term family ownership. We've got a few different variants of Bristol as well. So these have come from the collection of Brian May, who, who Bristol aficionados uh, and Bristol enthusiasts will know was, was well-versed in Bristol's, did a lot of uh, part supply and, and car dealing in Bristol's and and these are a few from, from his deceased estate. Um, and the one behind me is quite an interesting car because this is the oldest known Jaguar. Now, the SS Jaguar uh, was obviously the first car to be officially labeled as, as a Jaguar, and this is the oldest known survivor. So something which hopefully we'll get to see the road again. It's thought to be mostly complete, so it's certainly something which could see the road again with, with a few long hours work but a really exciting restoration project something which is really worth doing and, and a real piece of motoring history here we are in the new marquee so this is a new feature of the sale at duxford uh, and we've got mainly sports cars in here so sports cars are your flavor then there's a real mix some some excellent examples as well first one i want to point out is the plus two alan so this really struck me when it turned up because of the colour predominantly. A really underrated car, uh, in my opinion, and something which, for a guide of 16 to 20, I think would be a good purchase for somebody. Just to stand out from the crowds, if anything, in the sports car market, it is a, an exciting prospect. Colour's fabulous, and I have driven this one personally to put it into place, and it did seem to drive well, albeit the short distance that I did drive it. Elsewhere in here, there's a couple of Heralds, there's nice MGBs, um, but one of the main things I want to point out in here is over this way, it is actually one of the Heralds, um, but with quite some interest in history. So if you take a look at the Red Herald, lot number 106, this example is the car that featured in the last of the summer wine. So. A very well restored car now and presents excellently. It is the car that was featured in Last of the Summer Wine and if you want something to you know, start a conversation from, a bit of a brag down the pub when you take your classic cars for a meet, what better thing to be able to come out with than your car is TV famous. Um, so that's quite an exciting, interesting, quirky little prospect. Another one I'd like to point out is the SE4 Scimitar. So the SE4 Scimitars are obviously the rarest of the Scimitar breed. Um, this example is a V6 car, so one of the ones with, with the bigger power output. And quite excitingly, it's been upgraded with, with a lot of engine tweaks, suspension tweaks, braking improvements. So sort of resto modded, um, but the styling of the you know, iconic 60s lines has still been incorporated. And, and it's something which I personally think will sell quite well at its 13 to 15 estimate. So looking elsewhere in the tent, there's a couple of nice Jaguars over there. We've got little Alpha Spider behind you, Martin, and, and the Mini Mokes, which are, again, interesting cars. Out here on the runway, we've got the luxury saloon section. So a rare Hotchkiss to my, my right hand side, but one I specifically wanted to point out was the 190 Ponton. So this is a car which when you see it come down the road is going to breathe a certain air of sophistication. This example is a really sharp example, looks exceptional in the sun. The interior is really sharp on it, which is, is worth a look at, Martin. Um, and one which I think is quite sensibly guided um, with a guide price of 15 to 18,000 pounds. So sort of entry into luxury saloon market at an affordable level. So like I say, we feel that we've got a real selection of, of fabulous cars, something for everyone, hopefully. So we hope to see as many of you here tomorrow. Doors open from nine o'clock with bidding commencing from one o'clock tomorrow. And if you can't make it, there's options of leaving a commission bid via the website, bidding live on the website or via the telephone. If you have any questions, contact one of our helpful team, either our contact details for the consigners are on the bottom of each car listing on the website, or alternatively, the office is available on 01925 210 035, or you can contact us via email. The email address is info at hnh.co.uk. 
We hope to see as many of you here tomorrow as possible. Thank you.